This is Itzm64 letting you know that her Ryan Hat client is updated to Minecraft 1.20.10. As you guys probably know, it broke. So I guess without further ado, let me show you how to download it and make it work for this update. Now if you already have Ryan Hat client downloaded, you won't need to download it again. But if you haven't, then go to this link, which is down in the description below, which will bring you to the official Orion download page, and click on the green download button. Now, very quickly, before we do continue, I just wanted to say it is 22.10 in my time zone right now, which is Amsterdam time zone, so you guys can fact check this, but the update was literally released exactly two minutes ago. And if you guys like how on point I am with my videos and stuff like that, I'd obviously greatly appreciate it if you subscribed and stuff, because, you know, that would be amazing and it would really help me out. And it would also allow me to continue updating you guys like this on the status of most big uh, Minecraft Bedrock hack clients. Anyways, what you can go ahead and do is just launch Minecraft Bedrock Edition. And as you can see over here in my downloads, I have horizoninjector.exe. That's the exact file you want. Um, and you might already have it stored somewhere on your device, as I said. Now, Horizon being updated to Minecraft 1.20.10 does bring a few issues. For example, if your Minecraft is still at version 1.20.0 or 1.20.1, then you might be having issues launching it because it'll work for 1.20.10 but not for previous versions, yeah, um, which is always an issue that some people are going to obviously experience. Anyways, you can launch that and then you don't need a DLL or something, you can automatically just click on this green inject button, it'll download the DLL for you and it'll just inject itself. As you can see, it has successfully injected, which of course is perfect. Now something a lot of people are confused about, which I fully understand, is Minecraft Bedrock Edition versions, yeah, so very quickly, yeah, 1.20.10 is a different version than 1.20.1, though some people think that those two can be interchanged, but 1.20.1 is not the same version as 1.20.10, yeah, so Horizon has been updated to 1.20.10, which will make it no longer work for 1.20.1. Yeah, so that's, that, that's pretty important. I know it's really confusing, and I've gotten so many questions and confused people about that, which, honestly, I cannot blame you guys. I blame the Minecraft Bedrock developers. Anyways, I'm just going to load into a world here, and now, just quick thing. Yeah, if you already injected Horizon and you load into a world, it might crash. It's a common bug. What you need to do to fix that is load into the world first, and then inject Horizon and then it should work perfectly. Anyways, um, what I'm just quickly going to show you is how to use this client. Yeah, I have a really in-depth tutorial, which I will, for you guys, link down in the description below, as well as a full download tutorial as well, if you feel like you need that. So once again, full tutorial on how to use this in the description. However, just a quick brief way so you can get started, that's what I'm going to explain right now. So, to open up the Horizon interface, what you want to do is actually open up chat first. Then, um, you might see this message here, um, which is actually pretty new, and it already explains it for you. So, the default key bind is insert, which means if I print, press the insert key, I will get the hack menu. Now, some people don't have an insert key on their keyboards, yeah, or have troubles finding it. And... Overall, the insert key isn't the easiest way to probably use this. So, what you can do is exactly what it says here. Type a dot, bind, and then click GUI, just like this, and then type in any key. Some people like doing the Y key, some people like doing the F key because it's nice and close to uh, WAST. Um, basically, you can use any key, for example, F, and now whenever I click on F, the menu will open up. And... One more quick thing, you see that menu in the left side or the anti-bot thing in the top right? Some people don't always like that. And so then using the hack menu, um, you can, as you can see, remove those. So everything that is light blue has been selected. So, you know, you can, um, you, you, you can use those, right, to, uh, 
to turn that off, of course, because some people definitely don't like that being on. Anyways, there are a bunch of other commands too, stuff like that. If you want to learn more about that, then as I said, I do have an in-depth tutorial like that. Once again, definitely appreciate it if you subscribed to keep up to date with these updates for not only Hawaiian Hat Client, but other Bedrock Edition clients too. Anyways, for right now though, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.